what if I told you a 12 year old Mac operating system still handle YouTube, Google, even Xcode right here in 2025? Welcome back to the world of OSX Mavericks. In this video, I will show you how this classic Mac OS still runs modern websites. Let you code with the first version of Swift and feel that old school Apple vibe once again. Let's fire up Mavericks and see what it can still do today. Let's go and click on about this Mac. Click on more info. Then click on system report. Here you can see our Hackintosh machine hardware info. We have installed Mavericks in Haswell motherboard with 4th generation Intel Core i5 processor. Everything is working. That including onboard audio, onboard Intel graphics and all the USB ports. Find the installation guide in video description. Let's close this out and see how we can turn on magnification for the dock menu. Open system preferences. Select dock and turn on the magnification checkbox. Adjust the magnification scale if you want. You can see a smooth glass dock animation that I really like in OS X Mavericks. We are moving to most important step that is setting up the internet. If you have ethernet connection that completely works fine. But in order to set up the Wi-Fi, I strongly recommend a Wi-Fi dongle that is TP-Link USB Wi-Fi adapter that works for all the computers that including our Hackintosh. Very affordable option in my view. Get the device and download the supported drivers from TP-Link official website. You can find it in the description. After unzip the drivers, expand it and you can see here multiple versions of drivers are available. I am going to open the one which supports Mavericks. Open the installer, follow the instructions, complete the installation. It may take few minutes, but once installation complete, it will ask for a restarting computer. Restart the computer in order to complete the installation. Once the system is restart, you can see a utility option on the status bar. Here we can choose our Wi-Fi and connect to internet. Once we connect to internet, the symbol will change that indicates that we are connected to internet and we are good. So let's close this out and uh, let's move to next step. Installing the available software updates. Before going to install the software update, I just want to make sure my system date and time is correct and uh, I will update my time zone. Since we connected to internet, the date and time will be automatically updated based on the selected time zone. Let's close this out and uh, go and check for the available software updates. It may take few minutes to show the updates. Once we get the updates, you can click on expand and see all available updates. I am going to click on update all. In my case, I am ignoring automatic updates and uh, just continue the updating process. It may take few minutes based on our internet connection. Once the download complete, it will ask for restarting computer to install the system update. After restarting the computer, we can see no updates available message that indicates we are up to date. Let's move our focus to browser. Let's open the Safari and uh, try to connect to any website. Here I am going to connect to YouTube and um, I can see one security warning that indicates that uh, no valid certificate. Whatever the website you open, you will end up with the same issue. After giving credentials also, the website may or may not load fully. Here you can see it is saying that uh, please update your browser. Let's try something. Let's open Apple official website and see whether that will open it or not. 
we can see the same certificate issue and uh, if we accept and give the credentials to load we can see at least at least it is loading some contents but not uh, fully our focus is to upgrade to a browser where all the modern websites should work i have been using mavericks from last 30 days initially i found one article that is mavericks forever that website explains step by step how we can make use of mavericks in 2025 we are going to check that out now let's connect to mavericks forever website i am just open the website we can see the content is loading without a security warning go through the contents and you can find how we can set up the browser yeah here we can see the internet and uh, here it's saying that uh, we have to download firefox dynasty downloader let's click on download and uh, wait for the download complete i really appreciate the website author wow fun happy and the github repository author i3 rolly for supporting and maintaining the code once the download complete here we can see there is a another package that is aqua proxy as per the website it act as a middleman and avoid the security warning and make all modern website load properly in mavericks here we can see the both packages are downloaded let's open the firefox downloader wait for loading and uh, it contains a preference span install it on computer so that we'll get a settings panel where we can download the firefox we'll get a list of available download options you can choose a latest build it take few minutes based on the internet speed to download and install the firefox browser in our machine once after choosing the installation location we will see one message that the firefox dynasty has been successfully installed let's close this all and set up aqua proxy as we initially discussed aqua proxy is required to avoid the security certificate warning for modern websites open the dmz from download folder open the package it may ask for administrator approval to install the application go to privacy and security allow the application to install provide credentials if needed and follow the installation instructions and complete the installation on installation completion we will get post installation steps that uh, we must follow in order to make the aqua proxy works so here some configuration i can see here there is, there is a port number also i am just copying this port number for reference and uh, let's go and update the proxy configuration in network settings to do that i am opening the system preferences and uh, clicking on network opening advanced preferences here we can see proxies in that i am checking secure web proxy on set port number for local host that's all click on ok and apply the settings close the preferences and come back to the website i can see additional configurations if you want you can read through it and uh, you can configure it i'm moving to next step that is testing out our firefox browser let's close and quit the safari browser also remove from the dock menu open the launch pad and drag and drop the firefox to the dock menu for easy access let's open the firefox browser let's open the youtube and see will that work or not here we can see without any security warning the youtube is loading and uh, let me open our youtube channel if you like the content you can subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video i can show you one interesting thing let me search for apple and uh, here we can see if you put our cursor to any of the thumbnail the live play also will work even in mavericks this is supporting that's a really a useful feature 
let me open chart gpt most of them nowadays uh, everyone use chart gpt so let's see whether that works or not yeah it is working pretty well so i think uh, our regular day to day activities definitely work with this browser one more useful website is the wikipedia we can see it is also working let's move to next step that is setting up the x code we can actually use x code 6.2 in mavericks this is the first x code version that come up with swift version 1 find the downloadable link in the video description if you notice the progress bar animation that is really fantastic i really like this kind of loading animations which is not exist in modern mac os once the xcode application is expanded you can move the xcode into your applications folder and it may take few minutes to complete the operation you can find the xcode application in launchpad once the copy operation is completed let's go and open the xcode and finish the setup Here we can see the Xcode launch window. For video purpose, I created a sample application that displays list of fruits in a table view. So we are going to run that application in iPhone 4s. Here you can see the interaction and the look. We can still make use of this for uh, learning purpose at least. That's all about Xcode application. Let's move to installing VLC Media Player. I heard that VLC 2.0 can support OS X Mavericks. So, let's open the browser and uh, look for VLC 2.0 versions. You can see I am opening VLC 2.0.10. Find the download link in video description and here you can download the 32 bit DMG file. Once the download complete, you can find the DMG file in downloads folder. open the dmg file and uh, move it to applications folder that's all we can launch the vlc application from launchpad and make sure maverick supports only full hd videos not the 4k videos for tutorial purpose i am playing one of our channel video that is in full hd so here you can see the video will play smoothly so the audio also coming but uh, unfortunately i am unable to record it you can also use the built in itunes for music playback download and play your favorite songs it works perfectly i have not tested icloud music library sync but you can try it and share your feedback in comments before wrapping up let me show you one more thing the tile preview animation in finder It looks amazing. I really love this old school Mac OS style and transitions. That's all for this video. If you enjoy it, drop a like, share your feedback in comments and subscribe for more Hackintosh and Mac OS retro content. Thanks for watching.